Have you ever wondered how easy it is to make a computer in Minecraft? Well, with redstone, it tends to be pretty large, but if you also allow yourself to use command blocks, it becomes tremendously easy. I built this in about an hour, and it is capable of performing every single possible computation. Now, you may be wondering how this is possible, and I did cheat a little bit. It's not a computer like we're used to. It's what's called a Turing machine, and a Turing machine is essentially a theoretical device which can perform any possible computation with only five simple rules. Now, I'm not going to talk, sorry, six rules. Um, now, I'm not going to talk about the rules in this video, but each of the rules is represented by one of these rows of command blocks. Now, when I, if I were to just start this, so let's see, uh, this is what's called the head of the Turing machine. It's the current location that the head is at. And the state is actually a row of blocks in which the Turing machine head traverses. And so if I simply play it, if I do this, it will start to execute a blank program. Now, it looks like it's just placing a lot of blocks, but it is actually executing a program. And it's less obvious on this scale. But if we go over here, we can actually see a sort of log of the progress through time that this Turing machine has taken. So this is the initial state, so this is state 2, state 3, state 4, on. And you can see that it forms a sort of pattern in its mo motion. Now, this pattern eventually becomes repetitive and repeats forever. But given any sort of initial state, one can actually perform any computation that is possible to compute, which means that this is equivalent to every computer that has ever been created. Now, if you've studied computer science, this fact that a Turing machine is capable of every single possible computation is probably not surprising to you. But if you haven't had any experience in computer science, this can often seem a strange fact. And the reality is that it has been proven that it is a definition in itself of computation. Now, this is made possible because the head has three different states, and it chooses a certain action based on those three states that it stores in its head, as well as the current block it's on. So if I set the scoreboard, you may have seen earlier, the head state scoreboard, you can see the current state that the head is in. Now, if I play, it will move fairly fast, um, but you can see it cycle between 0, 1, or 2. And based on this head state, it makes it uh, creates different decisions, or it makes different decisions between what it's going to do. So every single step, based on its head state, it decides uh, if there's a block beneath it, if it's going to change it to a black block, or if it's going to change it to a white block. And this depends on the rules um, of the Turing machine. And there's plenty of rules that can actually create a Turing machine, uh, but the ones I use here are the same ones that Alain Turing, in um, when he first um, defined it, used. And so you can see over here, I have a simple command block set up. Um, I'm very new to command blocks, so this whole, whole thing is probably quite inefficient, um, but it works. <laughs> um, Basically, the state is this sort of infinite path um, of blocks along this axis. Um, and I just use an armor stand as the head. Um, and yeah, that's about it. So uh, hopefully you found this somewhat interesting. Um, and I'll see you in the next video.